file name, there is another one for the file name. Whenever we read the texture, obviously we need to read the file name of the image. So another one, char file name, similarly 200 characters because no one uses as, as long file names. Okay, and we need a float uh, array for ambient, diffuse, specular light, uh, not light, material property. So float ambient with free element diffuse with free element and uh, specular with free element and we need the alpha the ns and the ni we don't use this one so basically all i did uh, do is just go through all of these element and make a variable for it, for it so I make a char array to this, I make a float, I make three floats for the ambient diffuse specular, I made one float for the NE, one float for the alpha, and one integer for the ilum. So here we go. Okay, and one integer ilum, and actually we need one more variable. This is uh, actually a little bit more two more variables. One is the texture, so unsigned in texture and uh, we need a boolean value which is contained that do we have already a material. So bool is mat equal to false. Simple enough. And I do a little trick in here. Uh, I put the file name, so I put to the file name just a simple uh, null byte character and later we can use this null byte character to decide there is a texture or not so strcpy like string copy and the first where I do we want to copy this is the file name and the second what this is backslash zero so a null byte character okay I will show you in a moment why it is uh, needed but for them, uh, let's go on to the, with the program. So I make a for loop, obviously, which go through all of the all of the elements of this uh, uh, TMP uh, vector. So int i equals zero. I less than TMP dot size and uh, i plus plus. So I go through all of the element, and again I just set examine which kind of element is this. So if TMP i 0 is equal to uh, uh, pwned or what does it called hash mark then I just simple continue okay uh, by the way uh, you may notice that I don't use uh, pointer and indirection operator and parentheses and so on because I declare the TMP as a normal string uh, thing so not as a string array and dynamically allocate the memory. Uh, basically, I should have to do the same with the other one, but you know we are already have, so I don't want to change it too much thing. Okay, so the next thing to examine if it is new material. So if t t tmp zero uh, zero oh not zero zero i zero is equal to u like use and then the next character is s and the next character oh what am i doing n like new material so not use material new material i wanted to say so if it is new material like that then first we have to examine that is already have a material so is this variable already filled in uh, if so, so basically in case of the first element this will be false because we don't have already a material. But I read all of these line, I fill all of these variables and I set the is mat to true. And whenever we find a new new mat new MTL, so a new new material, then I just uh, check that is already a material. If so I put it to the end of the materials. Simple enough. So if is math so if already has a material in these variables then I just pu uh, push it back and uh, now I examine that uh, do we have a texture or not 
and I can examine that do we have a texture or not by examining the file name if it is remains uh, null byte character then we do not have a material so I just write the if str cmp so string compare and uh, file name backslash zero so if it is remains a null byte character actually first write if it is not remain a null byte character then we have a texture so we push back as we push back a minus one so materials dot push back and uh, because we dynamically allocate it is a new material and then we have to get uh, how does the constructor look like so uh, in here it's wait for the name mb and okay I just copy it so I can see there so I go back in here where I just push back okay so first it waits the name of the material this is the name which we define it up here although we uh, didn't feel it revealed okay and then the next parameter is the a a as the alpha so alpha then the next is n n like mm, ns okay the next one is ne2 this is the ne i actually ni okay the next one is diffuse ambient and specular so diff m spec all right the next one is e e like illum and the next one is T, T like texture. Alright, we there we have it. Okay, and uh, we make an S in here. So we if we don't have a material, then I just push back and set the texture to minus one. And in here I just copy it, so we set back the file name to backslash zero. Uh, yes, so next time we can examine again. Uh, that's about it. So we basically examine first is there a material, if so, we examine if there is a texture, if so, then we put back the texture, so this. And we just push back minus one, because uh, we don't have texture and we will examine that whenever we po want to push a texture to it. Okay, and then we will continue actually this. So in here, I just read the file name. So S scan F, and I set the ismet to false because if we are read the file name, we don't have a material yet, just the file name. So TMP I dot C S T R and the pattern is new mtl like new material and percent sign s for string and we read it for the name simple enough we just uh, read the the name of the material to the name okay and basically that the other uh, will be simpler so the other reading we just check that it is an ns k kd and so on and we read it uh, again and again and again so as if so if it is uh, starts with ns so like here ns then we read it to the ns variable so tmp i 0 equal to capital n and the next one is s The next one is then S. Then we just uh, read the this float number to the ns variable, obviously. So S can F, and I read it. So tmp i dot c s t r, and the pattern is ns and the percent sign f so a float, and I read this float to the address of ns. Simple enough. 
and I set the is match to true because we already have something in the material so we have a material okay and I use the same thing to do the o uh, so to do the others okay so the next one will be ka like ambient so k a and I set and I write ka in here the only difference is there is free float there okay and I read the amp 0 the address of amp 1 and the address of amp 2 simple enough so I just read the ambient to the ambient okay next one is basically the same it will be the diffuse and the specular the only difference is the third letter so this is uh, KD and I read it to the diff like diffuse oh sorry uh, yes that's right so KD and in here too and the next one will be KS like specular and the specular is you already see this highlight very shiny highlight uh, you can see this uh, for example a very shiny object like uh, glass for example okay so KS and I read it to the spec instead of the ambient and that's all okay the next one will be for example we read all of these so any D and ilum is left okay this will be the NI uh, I didn't, don't really know what is this but we read in maybe we later need it so NI and then the D like uh, alpha so just simple D and the next is a space so D and I read it to the alpha alright then and we left with two things like illum and the texture coordinate which cannot be seen in this one because it has no texture so as if So it is start with I and then an L, then this will be a loom. So I use the S can F again, S can F, and the first one is uh, the string, so T M P I dot C S T R, and then the second is illum the pattern percent sign D because it's a whole number and I read it to the address of illum. Simple enough and I set the is material to true again so it will be true if we read anything maybe not the nicest solution but you know it does what it has to okay and we have uh, left with one more this is the map KD so uh, I've already shown you I think the soldier model which uh, you can see it so this starts with oh we have a problem a very a lot of problem I always write it to one equal sign instead of two, so yeah, I will uh, fix all of them. Okay, that's about the copy and paste, you know. Okay, so if the next one is starts like M and A, like map, then this will be probably map uh, underscore K and D okay and then it will be the uh, file name so a uh, percent sign s and I read in it into the file name variable okay and I read now the texture so texture equal to load texture I think we haven't write this function yet but actually I will just copy it because we already have write it just not in this project so file name and uh, that's about it so simple enough we just read everything and uh, and uh, read it and then in here push it back actually there is one problem in here in the last materials there is no a new material after it so we have to put uh, another uh, pushback function 
to the end of it, so I just copy it, and after this whole thing, so after this for loop, and this whole thing, I put mm, this. 